X1075. All right. So Fridays is a good time to uh, get hip to what movies are coming out. And I always ask Ransom because he's in the secret society. What is that society called exactly? It's called the Illuminati. <laughs> we watch movies and we talk about politics and stuff. Uh, it's really weird. We do it naked. Oh, take man. Take our pants off. I should be invited to this club. What the hell? No, not very many people are invited to the Illuminati. <laughs> um, I was very lucky. You know, I knew somebody who was in it. You, you guys are hardcore. You watch movies. <laughs> yeah. Talk about Trump. We hold hands. <laughs> so, uh, so what's the what's the scoop this weekend? Uh, you know, uh, this weekend we're we're talking about Keanu. It's a brand new movie from Key and Peele. If you remember, Key and Peele had a show mm-hmm. on Comedy Central. It finally wrapped up about like six months ago. Great show. Uh, these guys are fantastic. You know, they're so so funny. I've heard people call them the uh, modern day Abbott and Costello. They, they're comedic geniuses, in, as far as I'm concerned. When it comes to sketch comedy, I would put their show as one of the best sketch comedy shows of my lifetime. I really, really like Yeah. Aww. You're making some faces. You're uh, making some noises. I, I grew up on the Living Color, mostly due to the Fly Girls. I do appreciate that. Oh, but, yeah. uh, I like in Living Color as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I would put this right up there. They're good. Yeah. They're good. Really good. So what do you think about I'm going to have to show you some sketches. If you don't really believe. Trust me. I've watched plenty of Key and Peele episodes. I had an ex that made me watch it. So I guess that's why it turns me off a little bit. I'm like, "Eh." Did he ruin the show for you? A little bit. A little bit. What a jerk. (laughs) (laughs) But anyways. But yeah, uh, Keanu, let me tell you a little bit about the movie. It's uh, it's about two black guys who live in the suburbs. Totally not street whatsoever. (laughs) One of them is going through a breakup. Uh, He decides he's going to get a cat. Actually, he finds a cat. (laughs) Names it Keanu. And uh, while he and his other buddy uh, go to a movie, they come back and his house has been robbed. And they also, they took the cat. Oh. Okay. So they find out that the uh, cat was stolen by some gang bangers. They're not street at all. They go to the gang acting like they're, uh, like they're street because they're trying to get the cat back. And that's okay. where the, uh, the, the meat of the movie really comes in. Now, what I do like about this movie is Key and Peele. They're great. When they have scenes together, they're super funny. Yeah. But where it falls apart for me is when the other characters are introduced. Movie's getting really great reviews around uh-huh. town okay. and around the country. I think it's at 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. I think this movie's just okay, though. I think that if you're a fan of Key and Peele, which I am, mm-hmm. I would wait until Redbox, check it out. There's some big laughs, but I think that they're spread out a little bit too far for right. my taste. Right. But, uh, but, yeah, the movie's fine. Next week is where I'm at. Civil War. Captain America, Civil War. Oh, yeah. Team Iron Man up in this right over here. I'm Team Iron Man. I can't wait. So. Yeah, we actually have the X1075 screening next week, so I can't wait. Yeah, so what What about, there is another uh, movie coming out this weekend. Um, Mother's Day. Flick. Yeah, <laughs> hello, Jennifer Aniston. I mean, this is, a, this is a girl bonanza movie right here. I didn't see this movie. It's getting awful reviews, though. Well, I do know a couple of rom-com. people who did go see this movie, and they all said it was awful. I think it's cruising at like a 13% on Rotten Tomatoes, no. which is not good. But then again, who knows? If you like terrible movies, you might this might be right <laughs> up your alley. Who knows? Grantham's the, the best person to give you the movie reviews for the weekend. He's <laughs> just like, no, I don't like this one. But uh, but but there is other things to see in the movies. So I right. tell it like it is. Uh, Jungle Book is still really, really good. That's out there. If you got kids, the kids are going to love that. I saw in the news the other day that select theaters around town are doing uh, screenings of Purple Rain. Purple Rain. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The last I checked, I, th- I think Texas Station was doing that. Yeah, if you haven't seen Purple Rain, I mean, you don't have to pretend you did just because Prince just passed. You know, go see it. It's got 80s boobs in it. That's what I think is, you know. Yeah, I'm a movie guy, and I've never seen it. <laughs> you need to go see some I've Purple I've seen Rain. thousands upon thousands of movies, and I've, I've never seen it. So who knows? Maybe I'll go check it out. Yeah, so, all right. Ransom, appreciate it. Anytime. And uh, you can follow him at uh, Ransom Palooza. Ransom Palooza on Twitter. Instagrams, yeah. the Facebooks. All that good stuff. Let's talk movies. Let's play some video games, guys. Let's oh, get nerdy. You got it. All right. Hey, coming up here in 15 minutes, get your Cage the Elephant tickets on X1075.